Assalamu alaikum and bismillah ir rahman ir rahim we are here with a topic that is eosinophil and its continuation with the lecture number 1 uh, and that lecture we study the structure and function of eosinophil and uh, in this uh, lecture we will focus on its secretory granules uh, that which sort of granules eosinophil release during the process of uh, killing and microorganisms or parasites or blood fluids my name is tanveer tarai and i am lecturer at had university of science and information technology so let's start the topic here we have the granules of uh, eosinophil and uh, as we have learned about the granules of uh, neutrophil that uh, there we have primary granules and secondary granules uh, here we have large crystalline granules and small granules uh, like uh, in eosinophil large crystalline granule mostly contain uh, cationic protein uh, neurotoxins peroxidase uh, antihistamine and a variety of uh, lysosomal enzymes and uh, where on the other hand small granules contain uh, acid uh, sulfatase aryl sulfatase gelatinase and uh, acid phosphatase as well um, in the further lecture we will discuss the most uh, important secretory granules of eosinophil in more detail so the main role of uh, eosinophil is the destruction of helminth parasite and uh, as we have discussed earlier in our lecture number 1 in more detail but uh, here we summarize that uh, there is a combat uh, between cystosoma and eosinophil and uh, we have antibody dependent uh, infections uh, there are immunoglobulin molecule and uh, eosinophil have fc uh, portion that fc receptors for antibody on their cell membrane and uh, then Personalization take place uh, and uh, they bind very tightly, uh, which will uh, damage the uh, organisms. And uh, this is best example of uh, ADCC. And what was ADCC? It was antibody dependent cell mediated site toxicity. So after uh, summarizing these all, now we are going toward the secretory granules of eosinophil, which have most important role in the uh, killing of uh, parasites. So the major eosinophilic secretions are basically MBP, major basic proteins. Uh, similarly, charcoal leaden crystals uh, we call them CLC, uh, eosinophilic peroxidase, eosinophilic cationic protein, and eosinophilic uh, derived neuro toxins so the first one is mbp uh, that's uh, we call it mbp major basic protein and uh, this protein is found in the electron dense core of secondary specific standing granules and uh, it's play an important role in the element destruction uh, MBP is a small protein and it have a molecular weight of 9300 uh, Dalton uh, it mostly contain a high level of uh, arginine and uh, what it uh, has the role so it's destroy the cell membrane of the blood fluids and uh, sometime it also uh, have effect on the membrane of the host as well uh, MBP contain uh, for about more than 50% of the total granular uh, protein content it's mean that the content is about 50% of all of the total granular proteins so another one is charcoal leaden crystals and uh, it's simply known as CLC it's uh, also called lysophospholipase and uh, it has a molecular weight of 13,000 Dalton and uh, it's also found in dimeric and whenever it become dimeric its uh, um, molecular weight also become double that is 26,000 uh, Dalton and uh, CLC may be a crystallized fraction of MBP uh, this protein is not found in the granular but it is apparently localized in the plasma membrane of the eosinophil. Uh, CLC is also found in basophil and mast cells as well and uh, the function of the enzyme is to degrade the phospholipid membrane of the cell leaning of the surface of the helminth parasite. So other uh, major eosinophilic secretion is in eosinophil uh, peroxidase and this is enzyme is found mainly in the matrix of large specific standing granules it is a fairly large protein and uh, having high molecular weight uh, that is 75,000 Dalton 
its uh, function is similar to that of uh, MPO uh, which is present in neutrophil we call it my myel myeloperoxidase as well we have discussed it in more detail in uh, neutrophil lecture and uh, it's uh, play a major role in the destruction of protein and uh, this assist in killing the parasites then we have eosinophilic cationic protein and uh, we call it ECP. ECP consists of a series of seven different cationic proteins, some of which are produced by the eosinophil, uh, but mostly which are produced by eosinophil are protein 5, 6 and 7. And uh, the most important and abundant of these seven protein is component number five. Uh, and it has a molecular weight of 21,000 Daltons. Uh, it interfere with the activity of the blood flukes, making them easier target for the white blood cells. And uh, its function is to bind basically uh, heparin and counter act its anticoagulant activity and uh, that's why it promotes uh, the clotting uh, and uh, it also inhibit plasminogen activation uh, by retarding the breakdown of fibrin clots as well so finally we have eosinophil derived neurotoxins and uh, this protein has a molecular weight of uh, 15000 dalton and uh, it is also found in the matrix of the secondary specific staining granules uh, it's act as a powerful neurotoxin and uh, that's why it causes severe damage to the myelinate sheet of the neurons uh, this neurotoxic reaction result in the stiffness ataxia weakness and muscles wasting and uh, eosinophil derived neurotoxin may have similar function in the helminth parasite so these all are the important secretory uh, material of the eosinophil like uh, charcoal leaden so it also called lysophospholipase having molecular weight of 26000 and uh, it mostly attack on plasma membrane where eosinophil peroxidase it has same activity of myeloperoxidase it's also important play an important role in the killing of parasite uh, similarly eosinophilic cationic protein and uh, it's uh, it's, tar it's target the uh, microbe uh, by counteract uh, its anticoagulant and it's bind to heparin and uh, similarly finally we have eosinophil derived neurotoxin so it's damage to the myelinated sheet of the neuron so it's all about the eosinophilic secretions inshallah in the next lecture we will discuss uh, basophilic uh, the structure of basophil and uh, function of basophil inshallah so keep watching video inshallah see you next time